Hi guys! Today we will be talking about productivity and our learning objective is I can analyze how firms create efficiency. And firms is another word for businesses. So productivity is something that we learned about when we talked about utility. Um, it is one of the ways to achieve economic growth and it is sometimes called efficiency. Now, if we think back to our utility lecture and the graphs that we were looking at, point Z was the efficiency point because it was off of our curved line and it was where we wanted our economy to get to. But in order to get to it, our economy had to grow, right? So productivity is measured by dividing how much we are producing, which is our output, by how much effort or resources are being put into it, or our input. So productivity equals output over input. And we'll be using this equation to help us figure out our problems for today. Here we go. So I'm going to pull up my calculator and we'll work through these together. Calculator. All right. Miss Keller reads 250 pages of a book in two hours. So what is she producing? In this instance, she is producing 250 pages of a book. And what is the effort that she's putting in? How long is she reading? In this case, she's reading for two hours. So our equation would be our output, which is 250, over our input, which would be 2. So 250 divided by 2 equals 125 pages per hour. Now, when you write your answers out to these, please please label them. So I know what you're talking about. Um, random numbers, I, I don't always know what they mean. So when you are writing your answers to these or you're writing your answers to any of the problems, please, 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 please label them. All right, moving on. A runner finished a 500 meter race taking only 250 steps. So our output here, or what we produced, was a 500 meter race they were able to complete this race. And our input in this case would be 250 steps. So our equation will be 500 over 250. So 500 divided by 250 equals two meters per step. Number three. A quarterback throws the ball 45 times for 300 yards. So this one looks a little different than the last ones we were looking at. So our output here would be what? What did he throw? So in this case, he threw 300 yards. And in that 300 yard span, he threw 45 times. So our output is 300 and our input is 45. And that would equal... 6.6 .6 yards per throw. Number four, a seamstress, a seamstress <laughs> sews on 117 buttons every 30 minutes. Um, that's a lot of buttons. So her output is 117 buttons and her input or her effort is 30 minutes. So our equation would be 117, and our input would be 30. So she is able to sew on 3.9 buttons per minute. Last one. A teacher speaks 1,225 words in every 45-minute class period. You guys, that's a lot of words. So her output would be 1,225 words and her input would be 45 minutes. So 1,225 divided by 45 
equals 27.2 words per minute. These are a little bit harder, but I'm going to work through the first one with you, and then I want you to do the next three on your own, and then we'll talk about them. So number one, 10 workers work for 12 hours over a 10-day period producing 30,000 water bottles. So if we want to set up our equation for this one, it's exactly the same, our output over our input. Our output in this instance would be 30,000 water bottles, because that's how many water bottles they produced in the amount of time that they worked. Now, our input would be the 10 workers who worked for 12 hours over a 10-day period, right? So when we multiply our 10 times 12 times 10, we get 1,200, and when we divide, we get 25 water bottles per hour. Now I want you to pause this video and try number two, and then we'll go through it when you're done. So number two, five workers working for seven hours a day produce 14,000 bags of candy in one day. That's a lot of candy. So our output would be our 14,000 bags of candy, and our input would be our five workers working seven hours a day. Now, if we were to multiply five times seven, we get 35. When we divide, we get 400 bags of candy per hour. All right. Do the same for number three. Pause it, try it, and come back. 4,500 workers work for 365 days for eight hours a day to produce three airplanes. That's not a lot. So our output is very, very small here. So our output, which is our three airplanes, will be divided by our input, which is 4,500 workers times 365 times 8. When we multiply, we get 1,314,000. Divided, we get 0. 0.00028 airplanes per hour which is a very, very tiny number, but airplanes are very, very big. All right, last one, you can do it. Number four, go. Mr. Sayre shoots 25 shots, makes 10 of them. He scores 26 points. So our output here is 26 because that's the total number of points that he produced out of his shots. So 26 is our output. Now. What would our input be here? Is it 25 times 10 or is it just 25? Now, every sports fan knows that it is the total number of shots that counts. So for here, it will be 25 because that is the total input that Mr. Sayre made when making his shots. So 26 divided by 25 equals 1.04 points per shot. Here is some extra help, just in case this isn't making sense, just in case you may need a little extra explanation, just in case I didn't hit all the good points for you. Um, please watch it. I highly encourage you to watch it. Now you have a formative assessment to do. Let me know if you have any questions.